Have you ever imagined a man challenging not only a king, but also the heavens? In the next minute, discover how Elijah summoned not only fire from heaven, but also a truth that will shake your beliefs. Elijah, a prominent prophet of the Northern Kingdom of Israel, witnessed and was instrumental in some of the most extraordinary miracles recorded in the sacred scriptures. However, in a subsequent period, he found himself overcome by deep discouragement and fear in the face of King Ahab's blatant disobedience. God commissioned Elijah to announce a severe drought upon the land. During this dry time, God cared for Elijah in a remarkable way. God commissioned Elijah to announce a severe drought upon the land as a result of King Ahab's disobedience. During this dry time, when there was neither dew nor rain, God cared for Elijah in a remarkable way. He followed God's direction and lived by the Cherith Valley, east of the Jordan. There ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and evening, and he drank from the water of the brook. However, after a time, the brook dried up because of the lack of rain on the land. God then led Elijah to the home of a widow who had been deeply affected by the drought. The woman was about to consume her last food when Elijah arrived and asked her for some water and bread. Sharing her distressing situation, the widow revealed that she had only a handful of flour and a little oil. Even in the face of this scarcity, Elijah encouraged her, telling her not to be afraid and to proceed as planned. He instructed her to prepare a small loaf of bread for him first, and then to make some for herself and her son. Elijah prophesied that the jar of flour would not run dry, nor the jar of oil dry, until the rains returned to the land. The woman followed Elijah's instructions, and both she and her family remained nourished for many days, witnessing the fulfillment of God's promise in the midst of the famine caused by the drought. In another episode on Mount Carmel, Elijah faced a spectacular challenge against the prophets of Baal. Gathering all of Israel, along with the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of the false goddess Asherah, Elijah proposed a test to prove who the true God was. After the prophets of Baal failed to call down fire on the sacrifice, Elijah rebuilt the altar of the Lord that had been torn down. He prepared the sacrifice, doused it with water, and cried out to the God of Israel. The fire of the Lord came down, consuming not only the sacrifice, but also the wood, the stones, and even the water in the pit around the altar. This event demonstrated the supremacy of the God of Israel over the false gods and left the entire crowd proclaiming that the Lord is God. After the confrontation on Mount Carmel, where Elijah demonstrated the supremacy of the God of Israel over false gods, the prophet faced a death threat from Queen Jezebel. Terrified, Elijah fled for his life and sought refuge in Beersheba, in the territory of Judah. There, he left his servant and walked alone through the desert, tired and hopeless. He sat down under a juniper tree and begged God to take his life, feeling helpless and without hope. While he was sleeping, an angel touched him and encouraged him to eat. When he woke up, he found bread baked on hot stones and a jar of water beside him. Strengthened by this food provided by God, Elijah undertook a solitary journey for 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Mount Horeb, the mountain of God. The prophet embarked on an inner journey of reflection and encounter with God in the cave of Mount Horeb. There, in a moment of solitude and despair, Elijah was confronted by the gentle whispering voice of the Lord. God questioned Elijah about his presence there and the prophet expressed his zeal for the Lord 
and lamented the sin of Israel. Feeling alone and persecuted, Elijah found in his encounter with God not only comfort, but also a new purpose. The Lord instructed Elijah to return to the wilderness of Damascus to anoint kings and prophets, revealing to him that he had preserved a faithful remnant in Israel. This momentous moment was not the end of Elijah's journey, but rather a new beginning toward the fulfillment of God's will. The prophet Elijah then received a special divine mission. God instructed Elijah to anoint Hazael as king of Syria, Jehu as king of Israel, and Elisha to succeed him as prophet. This crucial task was a demonstration of God's power and sovereignty over the nations. Elijah, faithful to his divine calling, set out toward the destinations designated by God, fulfilling with zeal and dedication each step of this important mission that would shape the future of the kingdoms involved. This faithful and God-fearing prophet experienced a unique and glorious moment, his ascension into heaven. As he walked with his disciple Elisha, a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two. Elijah was taken up by a whirlwind toward heaven, leaving Elisha astonished at the sight of this divine spectacle. This extraordinary event not only ended Elijah's earthly journey, but also marked his legacy as one of the most remarkable prophets in biblical history. His departure was not an end, but rather a transition to a new form of service to God, inspiring future generations with his courage, faith, and unwavering dedication. Elijah, a man of indomitable courage, faced challenges that tested his faith and resolve. His courage was unmatched, harking back to the days of David's confrontation with Goliath. Elijah faced his adversaries with fervor and a focus on the greatness of God, not the number of his enemies. His lofty perspective fueled his unwavering courage, making him an inspiring example for all believers. Elijah's courage was evident in his determination to defy Baal Mount Carmel. Even when he was vastly outnumbered, his desire to honor the Lord above all, fear drove him to act with boldness and confidence. Furthermore, Elijah's compassion triumphed over his frustration with his people, showing that true leadership also requires empathy and understanding. By facing spiritual and physical challenges with unwavering courage, Elijah became a living example of the power of faith and determination for all who seek to follow the ways of the Lord. Even in Elijah's life, there were moments of solitude and sadness. The prophet who had demonstrated indomitable courage in the face of the Lord's enemies. He experienced sadness and loneliness alone in the desert. Elijah confronted not only physical dangers, but also the doubts and uncertainties that plagued his mind. His solitary journey led him to question his role as God's messenger and to seek answers for the uncertain future that lay before him. In this moment of introspection, Elijah found strength in the Lord's silent presence, which strengthened him and renewed his faith for the challenges that still lay ahead. Elijah's solitude was not a sign of divine abandonment, but rather an opportunity to grow in communion with God and find the courage necessary to carry out the mission entrusted to him. After witnessing the extraordinary events surrounding Elijah, a man of unwavering faith and indomitable courage, we are invited to reflect on the ongoing journey of discovery and inspiration that his life provides. Each step Elijah takes reveals to us not only the greatness of God's power, but also the importance of persistence, faithfulness, and compassion in the midst of life's challenges. Elijah's story teaches us that true leadership 
goes beyond facing physical adversity. It requires a deep spiritual connection and unwavering trust in God's purpose. Just as Elijah remained steadfast in his mission, even in the face of the greatest trials, we are encouraged to follow his example and seek in faith the strength needed to overcome the obstacles that come our way. May Elijah's lessons of courage, faith, and determination resonate in our hearts and inspire us to walk a path of light and hope. If you enjoyed discovering the secrets behind Elijah's courage and faith, join us on this ongoing adventure of discovery and inspiration. True leadership sometimes requires solitude and the courage to speak uncomfortable truths. Don't miss out on the opportunity to explore more stories that can transform your worldview. Subscribe, turn on notifications, like and share so you don't miss any of our incredible journeys.